Hi, my name is Flossie Rocks, and I live in this 1999 Ford E350 step van conversion that I did myself. There's many rumors about those people who live in vans. Dirty, stinky, smelly, their toilet habits, oh my gosh. Filthy, dirty, stinky, not having showers. And guess what? I'm one of those people. I'm looking forward to feeling a little bit more lively, a little less snotty and fluey. You might be able to hear that I have a lot of congestion going on in my nasal area. To me, sustainability comes first, fun second, and cleanliness probably third. Just recuperate and rest, let my fluey body come back to itself. Finally feeling well enough to get outside. Good morning from the ferry terminal lineup. It's the final ferry to Hadekoi. That's a big anchor. And just like that, I had reunited with one of my greatest friends. Bye, Prince Rupert. We had boarded a really big ferry for one of the most beautiful scenic ferry rides together. We were leaving Prince Rupert and heading even further north. It would take a long time to drive there, so I'm very grateful that these boats exist so that little old vans like mine can get up there to experience the delights and wonders of the wildness, more remoteness and less humans that these places are known for. Van lifers get this reputation for being filthy, dirty, stinky, not having showers. And guess what? I'm one of those people. I haven't showered in seven days. So guess what's happening today? I am going to wash my dirty ass in this beautiful shower and I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> right, I have stripped off my hundreds of layers that I've been wearing all morning and it's time to take my dirty ass in the shower because when one doesn't have daily access to a shower things like this become extremely valuable not showering for a whole week seven days had a nap and it was really nice. I was so tired. I don't know whether it's been the movie. Late nights, early mornings, or just, it's not been that late at either end, too different to my normal schedule, but I think the moving constantly. I normally stay within an area and explore it or have a home base where I help out on the farm and then travel from there. This is beautiful. <laughs> it's never a dull moment around here. Here we have all of this dancing space. I must go down to the sea again, to the lonely sea and the sky. 
And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. The wheels kick in the wind's song, and the white sails shaking. I must go down to the sea again, for the call of the running tide is a wild call and a clear call that may not be denied. All I ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying, and the flung spray and the blown plume, and the seagulls crying. I must go down to the sea again, the vagrant traveller life, to the gull's way and the whale's way and the wind's like a wetted knife. And all I ask is a merry yarn from a laughing fellow rover, and a quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the long trip's over. Walk with me through gardens, run with me through time, think about our journeys when we were in our prime. It's there that we are anchored some time when we were young, in days all filled with sunshine and songs that once were sung. So much in the memories are present to the touch, reminders of our travels that always mean so much. Where next will you journey? Though yet you may not know. Be sure to take us with you wherever you may go. You cannot buy your happiness because happiness is free. Don't you know or can't you guess it's there? for you and me. And what you do with what you've got can change the way you feel. Just do your best and smile a lot. You'll keep an even keel because happiness is made for you. Just take a bite and see that happiness is what you do with something that is free. This spot is like a double one. I like it because it's open. More open to the sky for it. It'll be good for your solar. For um, Starlink and solar. Not solar right now, but solar later on during the day tomorrow. Oh yeah, like the, when the sun's all solar. Exactly. Okay. But there's a double spot, so if you wanted to join in this one. Oh, and then there's another one over there. Yeah. Oh. See, like we could both sit in here. Yeah. Unless you want them shadier for you. Oh, I still feel sick. It's not even under the weather. And as much as I really just want to spend the whole day in bed, I don't think I'm gonna. Wish me luck to get better. Well, we made it. We're here in Haida Gwaii. It feels surreal to say it, and it feels both different and similar. Like, 
we're still on the coast and we're still British Columbia and it's still freaking beautiful. Um, I have been really sick for the last couple days and so you're seeing a condensed version of all the things that we did and a lot of the things that I did was resting and sleeping and doing not much and even on the boat I spent a good portion of it napping and just lying down because I was so tired and so wiped out and out of it and then we've come here and found a gorgeous campsite which I am really excited about staying at for a few days which will be really lovely oh, like, just beautiful hopefully the solar will be enough to sustain the batteries I drove here and forgot to turn my DC to DC charger on I was like yes I must do that totally forgot oops however good news is I don't need to use my computer for another couple of days and there's tons of spots between here and town along the ocean front which would have killer solar which I could just go work at during the day if I needed to There's just no, no sounds of humans, except me, nobody, nothing. Mountains with snow in the distance, the ocean, the sun. I needed to come and get some more sunshine before. Certainly into camp because camp is shaded by trees now. And it is like six or 7 p.m. at night. Does not even look like it. Then we went further north and the daylight hours became an hour longer. And the moon is half up and it's just, just gorgeous. Wow. Maybe I'll swim to those. Wow, wow, wow. I'm looking forward to feeling a little bit more lively, a little less snotty and fluey, and being able to be out and enjoying myself. And I probably will just go ahead and do all the things anyway, <laughs> because I'm in too beautiful of a place not to, and sunshine, fresh air, and being in the outdoors is like, such good medicine. <clears throat> I have my full herbal apothecary with me. So I'm taking my fire, to fire cider, elderberry syrup, apple cider vinegar, and some herbal mushroom supplements, and my vitamin C, you know, all the things. So I'll feel better. Hi, this is really close to shore. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. You can really shell it right there. You're looking for crabs or crabs or clams. Or just being nosy and saying hi. <laughs> He's probably sitting on the bottom, it's so shallow. Behind you can see is where I am camped 
Uh, Amanda and I have come to this beautiful oceanfront campsite. It is gorgeous, low tide right now. <sighs> Earlier I went out and harvested a couple of clams. They look like big steamers or soft shell clams. Um, but I have done some research and checked out the local opens enclosures and it seems like the biotoxin levels in these clams are a little too high for eating which is a real shame but I have now identified where in Haida Gwaii the opens are and so hopefully I might get a chance to figure out some other stuff. And we have been having a really lovely day. It has been a slow restful day at the oceanfront. It is gorgeous. It's low tide right now. You might be able to hear that I have a lot of congestion going on in my nasal area. My nose has absolutely been running like crazy. <sighs> it's been nice to stop and slow down for a day. To pause and just chill. Um, I've been doing some cleaning and some repairs of stuff that broke and rattled loose on some of the dirt roads. My table came attached from, detached from my wall. And then earlier I went out and tried to look at some clams and picked up a few because I wanted to take them and identify them and then check the shellfish opens enclosures, which is always an important thing to do. And it looks like the closures Oh, the opens are not for this area so it has been really cool to identify the clams that I found um, but it does appear that they are closed in this area but that is fine I am okay with that I would rather check and know and then hopefully in the future I can learn a bit more about uh, biotoxin testing um, where they do it how often they do it and that kind of thing um, I'll show you the pictures of the, show you pictures of the clams later um, I think they are called a soft shell or a steamer clam. Um, not one that I've seen before, but they were really fun to dig up and learn more about, even if I don't get to try these ones particularly. Look at this beautiful beach! It is really nice to, to stay put. And there's been enough sun and solar to keep my battery topped up. And we have some internet so I can post through this video and say hi, and that we made it safely to Haida Gwaii. Yay! How to poop in the woods. Be prepared. Take with you the supplies you need if you need sanitizer, toilet paper, etc. Step two, find a spot. Carry your supplies at least 70 steps from the trail, a campsite, or a water source. Choose a nice underbrush for privacy. Dig a hole about four inches wide and about six to eight inches deep. Now, drop a squat or lean up against a tree close by if you've chosen your hole wisely. Step four, wipe. Use as little toilet paper as possible. Step five, cover it. Cover the waste with the original dirt. Stick it back in upright and it will discourage other humans from doing their business there. Step six, wash your hands or use that sanitizer that you brought with you earlier. Step seven, walk seven more steps into the woods. Look out at the beautiful view and appreciate the trees and know that you have the best poo with a view this side of sunset. Yep. Ready to go for a walk? I don't know why, but I brought my cell phone, I guess, for camera and have it. Walkies! Oh, walk. Yes, hello. Woohoo! Hi, Daguai. The mist shrouded you like a mystical wonder. Your white peaks scraped the skies. Coast carved by fierce forces. Land of enchantment, reconciliation and hope. Destiny is weighted by the coaches that cope. Monster trees that gobble the past. The Spirits and treasures are all that last. That's a huge mass of them. That's amazing. There's so many.
what a day. It's been the perfect slow down and rest. Do nothing, but also do lots of things to chill and just recuperate and rest and let my fluey body come back to itself. So hopefully tomorrow we can go out and do some adventures and feel better. It felt really good. I needed a low-key rest day. Not much talking, just chill. It was lovely. And the sun was beautiful. And now it is bedtime. Good night. Monster trees that gobble the past, the spirits and treasures are all that last, be it under mosses or the sacrilegious crosses. What comes from the earth goes back to her, reconciling losses. The spirits are watching with unwavering stares as today's hider children sing, dance and care. Stories alive and forged on the future cleaning up from the past of the evil preachers, for yesterday's stories were of death and scorn. Haida Gwaii of today is being reborn. Haida Gwaii forever, and forever is now. The mist covered you once again from the view of the bow. Poem by Carl Meadows. I am the space between cosmos, the same within you. I am sighing, Navarna, discovered in bloom. I am the riverbank fragrant and stereo tune. I am the expectant, the reverent, the humbled, renewed. I've left you a key where the doormat would be. Finally feeling well enough to get outside for a little bit. The vans are way back there behind us and just exploring the beaches and the bays. It's gorgeous out here. And doing some recognition of taking care of myself instead of doing crazy adventures, slowing down. I think both of our bodies really needed a little moment to stop, a little moment to get all the snot out of our noses and sinuses. <laughs> Sounds delightful. But of all of the places to do it, I'm glad it's here. And if you haven't done something today to take care of yourself, figure out what that is and what that might, might what. Figure out what might feel good and then do it and feel proud of yourself. I don't know, sometimes it's hard for us to stop in a world that says go, go, go and take care and rest. And so I feel glad that for two days, two and a half days actually, done not, man, not done much and it's been easier because the weather has been a bit nastier this morning and cloudy yesterday, but we could have gone for a paddle and instead we rested and this is a beautiful place to rest.
Mm. Oh, snotty nose. So I was going to cook some potatoes, but we might wait till we have a few more embers because the wind is making this crazy hot. Oopsie. Well, at least I'll be warm. But I can't stand over there. I can't stand here. Meh. Hopefully it's just a squall. doesn't sound it like over there it is raining rain's gonna stop soon right please you're welcome to enter my room where berries and ferns follow various curves through the bush to a marvelous view be still said the fog washing out from the mountain a cawing observer, impartial, amused. Wet window sill drawing a shoreline, surrounded the subtlest murmur of ocean of blue. I am the space between sunlight and shadow, where everything happens, especially you. I am the shape of all of my travels, a life well examined. I'll show you the proof. Oh, some pretty colors in the clouds. Skin dinner. Oh yeah, so tasty. A little lower. Your arm at 90 degrees. <laughs> We're gonna cook potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. I will actually be able to sleep tonight. Yeah. Good night, Mousy. You might be wondering why the clams I picked out of the beach the other day, after checking in the website, I decided not to consume them. A shellfish poisoning is a thing and one has to be very careful. And it's really surprising to me and I'm a bit disappointed that it, it is the case. But I really wanted to show you why. The bacteria bloom turns the ocean red. Look at that. You can see it all here. Yes, better to be safe than sorry and check. Because you don't want to end up dead like this little guy.
He's very cute. But yes, it pays to be safe and it pays to check for things like that. Thank you for coming along with me on this dreamy adventure to one of my new favorite places. A place that has been a journey to get to and it will be a journey going forward. A huge thank you to all of you who leave comments. I love hearing your feedback, your thoughts, how this video impacted you. Please share. I read all of the comments. A huge thank you to my Patreons. You get real-time behind-the-scenes updates each week. I'm excited for that. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I will see you all next week for the next chapter of this adventure. See you later. Bye.